I know you mentioned you were in Kansas City. Were you at SoFi Stadium for the final? No, I that was the only game I went to. Okay. Um, did they did they have the twenty five dollar hot dog? I'm curious in Kansas City. I'll go behind the curtain here for a minute. They had no media meal. No media meal. We all went downstairs to the concession stands. I got a decent little barbecue sandwich. That was fine, but no, it was not. Uh, it was not optimal. Look, and I have. I'm not going to use the media meal as the main example for Comda Ball's trouble with the logistics and all of this stuff. But I am going to say, and I've said this many times, and I'm sure your listeners have seen it. The ch party chiefly responsible for all the logistical problems at the Copa America, from the problems with the media operations to the problems with teams' travel and practice facilities to obviously the problems with security and ticketing and all of that. That is all on Condoball, period. And they should be blamed first and foremost and by a long ways more than anybody else. I know this because I've spoken with people. I've, I spoke before the tournament to Condoball's chief operating officer for a story I did on the business side of the thing and how much money it was going to make. I didn't print at the time everything I asked him about, all the logistical stuff. But I so Common Ball in 2016 hired Soccer United Marketing to run all the logistics. And people don't like Soccer United Marketing because they're tied into all the MLS owners and they don't know where the money goes, you know, behind the scenes. I get that. I don't necessarily like it either. But the people who actually work within some and who they hire to do the ground level logistics work at events are really good. They don't mess around with this stuff. They don't short on security budgets. They don't short on logistical budgets. They don't short on the big one, as everybody has talked about, is that there were no extra security perimeters around uh, around the stadium in Miami at the final, as there are at every major soccer event you go to around the world, especially a continental international tournament or even major concerts or the Super Bowl or whatever. You have to pass through three rings of people checking your tickets a quarter mile out from the stadium before you get anywhere close. If they'd had that, I am sure that most of what we saw on Sunday night, when on that, that Sunday night in the final, would not have happened. I know that things will be better in 2026 because I've seen security perimeter plans for Philadelphia. Two years ago, I saw them. They were already done. The one in Miami has been circulated on social media the last few days. People have seen it. All of this is common ball being cheap. It is clear to me, um, they didn't really hire enough boots on the ground people. They didn't take the advice of people who told them, this is how you really need to do things over here. And it bit them. 